Remember Conker's Bad Fur Day or uh, Live and Reloaded as its re-release was called that came out for the Xbox a little bit later. And that's also the version that I'm playing right now if you're wondering why an N64 game is looking so good right now. And fuck, even for an Xbox game this is still looking very much, very much good. How are we going to tackle this whole hand situation though? I don't know. I'll, I'll worry about that uh, while I talk about a few other things. Namely... What is happening right now? What is going on? What am I doing here? And in case you didn't watch that l recent channel update video, I decided to create a new little series for you guys. One designed around the idea of playing games that I have on my shelf again, having a good time showing those off, and uh, that's exactly what we're doing right now. I picked Conker's Bad Fur Day, one of my favorite platformers, for this very first episode, because it's... It's a really cool game. If you guys have never played it, I highly suggest that you go check it out. I mean, it's probably not as easy to get as it used to be with the Xbox being pretty old by now and then the N64, of course, being much older. But this game has a great sense of humor and I picked probably the most infamous scene to show this off and hopefully you'll enjoy what's about to happen right here. Uh, we'll just have to do a little bit of uh, work to then get there, finally. Alright, so how are we gonna... Not exactly sure how to get over that fire thing, though. Can I just float across? It did work. I didn't think it would, but it did work. Alright, so let's smack the shit out of this guy again. And just, I don't know, it's... To me, it's absolutely mind-blowing how good this still looks. I mean, the fur it looks fantastic. Almost everything in this game still looks fantastic. And this is really old. This is really old by now. Um, all right now, I think, yeah, we're done with that area, that area, now there should be like one more area for us to do, and then I can finally show off what I wanted to show off here. But, uh, question to you guys out there, have you ever played Conker's Bad Fur Day or the Xbox re-release? Because if so, let me know how you liked it, because I have very, very fond memories of this game. I really enjoyed it back then. I think it's a fantastic platformer. There's so much fun to be had in this game. The way it just basically is a parody of everything pop culture back then. Like there's um what what the fuck is there? There's like war movie parodies, there's matrix parodies, uh like vampire movie horror film parodies. There's so much in here. <laughs> And here it, here it goes, actually, the scene that I wanted to show off to you guys. This is absolutely one of the best scenes in the game, I think. <laughs> oh, I love it. And now he's basically our boss fight right here. Um, let's see. If I remember correctly, what we have to do is go to these B prompts on the ground and then basically throw toilet paper at him. That was maybe not the best moment to do just that, but uh, let's see. Does he have to eat it? Or where do I have to hit him even? I might want to move to a different location because <laughs> this is not really working too well for me right now. But, um, so I don't know, let's talk a little bit about the re-release. Of course, enhanced graphics to the maximum, at least, uh, back, back, it was still Xbox, PlayStation 2, and GameCube. Uh, was that not a B thing previously? Did he destroy those? I'm a little confused. Oh, fuck, he's now up there. Well, let's go to where he is and then figure something out. But yeah, they also added a multiplayer to the game that I never really got to check out. I didn't have Xbox Live back when this first came out. Um, of course, back then it was not a huge thing that only started with the Xbox 360. Fuck, come on, I, I could have sworn that that was where I... Yeah, there we go. Alright. Of course the flushing sound plays as soon as we do that. Okay, that was one hit. Sweet 
<laughs> oh, it's fantastic. I don't even remember it being this funny, but yeah. This was also developed by Rare, which were known for amazing games back in the days. At least, yeah, I think this re-release was actually also still developed by them. But, um, of course, that was already back... Were already when they were part of Microsoft. Previously only developed games for uh, the Nintendo systems. So, for example, Donkey Kong Country is something they developed. Or Banjo-Kazooie, of course. All kinds of really good games. They were known for creating fantastic adventure platformer kind of things. And a lot of my favorite games are actually by Rare. Of course, then again, now all they do is... Oh, fuck, he's right there. I didn't even realize. Now we, there we go. That's another hit. Of course, now all they develop is, I think, Kinect Sports and maybe other Kinect games, but I'm not really into all that kind of stuff. Like, I played Kinect Sports once on the, uh, yeah, Gamescom, actually. The newer version, too, the Rivals one or whatever it's called, but nah, it's not, it's not my kind of thing. I did actually prefer these. I know it's probably hard to believe, but I actually preferred their adventure platformer kind of games and this is really as I already said I think one of my favorites of that genre and it's just a really nice genre mix too like it's not only platforming there's also a lot of fun extra bits for example the war thing the war parody kind of area it also involves a lot of shooting and is <laughs> just a fantastic sequence of gameplay Alright, so, let's see. Can I now already go there, or does it take another one of his, well, screams, <laughs> whatever you want to call that. Um, but it doesn't seem like that's actually the case. We can probably already jump. Can we not? No, we can't. Wow, that's really poorly indicated, but alright. I'm okay with it, I guess. Uh, we'll have to hit him another time. Let's see. I mean, I'd like to show off more of this game. This game has so much to offer, so much to show off, but I think that's also a really cool thing um, for you guys. So if you've never played this, by all means, as I said, try your best to go check it out. Because there's a lot of cool things. Why doesn't it... Huh, apparently it doesn't want me to do that. I guess it's deactivated or something? At least this one seems to be a little bit brighter. Yeah, and I can actually use this one. Is he? Oh no, he's going to throw his shit again. <laughs> this is so ridiculous, I can't believe that they actually were allowed to pull this off. Uh, also, in case you didn't know, this was actually going to be yet another one of those cutesy platformers that Rare has is basically known for developing. So like, I mean Banjo-Kazooie, for example, it's not really all that serious. I mean, of course, this is also not really fucking serious, but <laughs> hopefully you know what I'm trying to say here. Banjo-Kazooie was not really a risk. Like, that's just a standard platformer, very much for kids and whatever. Of course, not only that, but this is very much the antithesis to that. This is very much an adult game with adult humor. Um, of course, also a lot of humor surrounding poop and that kind of stuff, but I, that's that's all right if done the right way, and I think they definitely do a good job of that in this game. That's all. It's still not it. It's still not it. All right. I guess one more hit shall do, though, and then we can go back there where the glass is beginning to crack. Oh, fuck off. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up and start singing, dude. I need to... TP your face. I, I just really hope that I'm not gonna die now because that would be real bad for business. Alright, okay. I think that's my sign to. Oh god, come on, man. Open it up again. Ah! Where is he? There he is. No! He's so fast though. I don't know where he's gonna go next. Oh, he's actually right behind me. I should have predicted that. Alright, let's already aim at this. Now he's here! 
<laughs> He's trying to trick me. Okay, but I got him. That should have been the last one. All right, there we go. As per usual, three times the charm. There we go. And yep, <laughs> some of you might already be able to tell what that is. And of course, him being a big pile of poop. What are we going to do now? I'll take a wild guess you're about to find out. And then I'm probably also going to call it a day when it comes to this very first episode of Remember. My new series here on my channel, taking a look back at all kinds of games that I enjoyed. Or also, probably also didn't enjoy. And yeah, I mean, what can I say? If you actually enjoyed this video, please, by all means, show your support by leaving a like and stuff similar to that. That would mean the world to me. Um, I think we're going to have a great time with this series. With looking back at older games and checking all of those out. And yeah, here's basically the end to uh, the great Mighty Poop. <laughs> beautiful clagginess. Of course, man. Goodbye. I kind of started to like him, but... <laughs> now that's what I call a bowel movement. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> and that's the boss fight. One of many in Conker's Bad Fur Day slash Live and Reloaded. And yeah, as I said, that's going to do for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. As I said, Conker's Bad Fur Day slash Live and Reloaded. Both fantastic games. The only unfortunate thing about the re-release is that they... I think actually censored a lot of the dialogue and that is I think something that was not the case in the original but then of course the graphics are much much better and really enjoyable and even today like I don't know is it even a decade already a decade past when it first came out it might be I'm not exactly sure when it came out but yeah it's still very much playable great to look at and uh, please by all means check it out it's a really fun game if you enjoyed this episode, as I said, let me know in the comments and let me know whether you played this. Let me know what other games you enjoyed as a kid or have just very recently enjoyed in general. Um, I'll maybe check those out in the near future when it comes to this new series then. This is the first episode of many when it comes to this Remember series. So, uh, yeah. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, guys.